Hello. Today I'm going to show you the Threat Intelligence Security Center application, otherwise known as TISC, part of the portfolio of security operation solutions here now on the ServiceNow platform. I am logged in as Adam, a member of the Cyber Threat Intelligence Team, or CTI team in short, and he has received some intelligence that he is required to action, and he needs to conduct threat intel case management and possibly some campaign tracking. Adam needs to investigate this malicious IP address received by the CTI team. When Adam goes into the Internal Intelligence tab, he can see that TISC has native connectivity to the other applications on the ServiceNow platform, such as Security Instance, as well as vulnerability entries from Vulnerability Response, and any other data in Adam's instance, such as configuration items and affected services as well. As a result, Adam doesn't need to swivel chair between multiple disparate tools to see any related incidents, assets, and vulnerabilities. Adam goes to the Related Records tab and sees that this malicious IP address is related to a known threat actor, and he is concerned about it. Let's take a closer look at this threat actor. The related records here are also shown in a rela relationship graph. Adam sees that this malicious IP address and this threat actor are all related to a campaign that is already in the Threat Intel library. Before Adam opens a new Threat Intel case, he's going to check to see if there's any existing cases open already. In this case, we can see one right here. Adam can click on it and go directly to that case, but instead he's going to open his Threat Analyst Workbench directly. Within the Threat Analyst Workbench, Adam can view the cases and case tasks that are assigned to him and the rest of his team. In this case, Adam wants to look at the case we look, looked at earlier. If he believes this case needs to have restricted access, he can easily enforce that here. He can also browse the tape case tasks, any artifacts related to this case, and related MITRE attack techniques. Adam can also view or create any case reports. Within TISC, we can create various report templates so that the CTI team doesn't have to spend a lot of time on report writing. While he is here, Adam's going to take a look at another threat intel case that he's been working on. In this case, the 1002 one. And as you can see, same information is available in 1002 as it was in 1003, such as case tasks, artifacts, MITRE attack, and any case reports as well. For this particular threat intel case, Adam needs to start a new report. He has some various templates here he can choose from. Within these templates, we can pre-populate much of the information and data so to save time and effort. But now let's take a step back and see how the functionality underneath this makes it all happen as an administrator. Within the administration function, we can configure our import approval rules and our inbound filtering rules for when we ingest and consume threat intelligence. Most threat intel vendors control the threat scores and do not provide any flexibility. Instead of a black box function, ServiceNow gives you that control and provides you the ability to configure your own threat score calculator, allowing you to tailor it to your environment. And on top of that, ServiceNow allows you to recalculate historical store scores based on new data and new findings. Here, we also have our security control lists, such as an allow list, deny list, and watch list. We can also create our own taxonomies. The reputation calculator allows you to calculate findings based on threat lookup vendors and can give you a rollup of threat lookup results. Since ServiceNow provides email notifications as part of the, as part of the platform, we've leveraged that capability here as, le as well. Lastly, you also see all the re report templates where we can create and store templates for those case reports we saw earlier on the Threat Analyst Workbench. Earlier in the demo, we saw Adam doing Threat Intel case management, but how did he receive that intel in the first place? Before TISC, Adam's challenge was too many disparate threat feeds and intel sources. The Threat Intelligence Security Center application provides pre-built integrations with several intel sources, as well as in enrichment in integrations, regardless of whether or not the feeds are integrations with commercial vendors, open source, government, law enforcement, or others. Also, in this case, Adam can also configure a new source here based on a variety of formats. Threat feeds are not the only way to ingest threat intel. 
Sometimes Adam attends ISAC meetings and receives intel shared by peer organizations that just recently experienced an attack that is relevant to his organization. Or files with threat intel are provided to Adam by government agencies or law enforcement agencies. Adam can use TISC to import that threat intelligence from various sources and formats. So here we can see that he can import it from a structured file or he can import it via a standard format. He can also import it via raw text, either pasted or freeform. And then he can also import via file that's unstructured. The Threat Intelligence Security Center provides technology solutions for data aggregation, enrichment, management, and operational details of threat intelligence. By enabling more effective decision making and enterprise security case management with Threat Intelligence Security Center, you can improve your organization's security and risk posture.